Hello, my name is Micah Watson. I'm a composer and music producer, and I'm teaching you through the Ableton Live Manual. And today I'm going to be talking about freezing tracks. It's going to be super quick. So, in arrangement view, if you've got a clip, this one is frozen at the moment, and these little lines over there give that away. But not all frozen tracks have little lines. So, why would you want to freeze a track? Well, if you run into problems with your computer, things are slow, you're getting audio glitches and dropouts and things, freezing your tracks is a really simple way to free up some of your computer resources. What Ableton does when you freeze a track is it kind of takes a snapshot of the audio with all of the effects and creates a temporary sample that it plays instead of playing back the sample and then running all the signals through the plugins and having to process it every time you play it back. So I've got a reverb on here. Without the reverb, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> and every time I play that clip with the reverb, Ableton needs to work out again how long the tail's gonna be, what's it gonna sound like, and so forth. So I'm just gonna activate the reverb, right click on the sample and click on freeze track. Now everything here is grayed out. I can click all I want, but I cannot change anything because I don't have that luxury. Ableton doesn't care what's down here anymore. It's now playing this frozen in time track. Now these little lines over here represent the tail of this clip that is a result of the plugin. So you will see this with things like reverb and delay. It means basically this is kind of the clip and the rest of the stuff is what was added onto it because of a specific plugin at first. From here, there are two things you can do. If you know for a fact that you aren't going to change the sample and that you're happy with it the way it is, you're gonna mix, master, whatever, finish your track, you can just click on this clip, not this little area, and I go to edit and click flatten. Now what Ableton has done, it's turned this clip into a brand new clip and has saved it with your project file, as opposed to the frozen track, which is in a temporary folder. It's also removed all the devices and uh, you cannot change anything. But now I'm going to hit Command Z to undo. If after you've frozen your track you want to change these parameters, you can always just right click on the sample or Command click and go to unfreeze track. Now you've got your clip as it was before you added your devices as well as all your devices where you can now edit things. So it's a really simple non-committal way to free up space. Now, going to session view. It is similar, but there are a few things I want to draw your attention to. Now I've got the same clip over here, also with the Cathedral plugin, and I can also just right click on it and freeze track. It looks the same. <laughs> but now, one thing you need to be aware of, and this might differ from computer to computer, it's going to unfreeze. So if I go into my clip, I have the option of creating an unlinked envelope. So how I got there is I double clicked on my clip, and I got this little clip dialog, and um, this little waveform over here is your sample options display and this little E over here is your envelope option display and um, you can choose to have linked or unlinked clip envelopes. According to the manual it only goes through two loop lengths when you freeze a track so if you do have a lot of unlinked clip envelopes just check that before you freeze any of your clips in session view and again you have the same option you can right click to unfreeze the track if you want to edit things further or you can right click and after you've frozen it, you always first have to freeze it, then you can click on there again. I'm doing a right click and click flatten, and this will create a new sample. You can see at the bottom here, there's no more reverb. So besides providing an opportunity to conserve CPU resources on tracks containing a large number of devices, unlike this one, the track freeze command simplifies sharing projects between computers. Computers that are a bit low on processing power can be used to run large live sets as long as any CPU intensive tracks are frozen. If you want to see what your CPU is doing and how sluggish it's being, you can look at this little tab over there. So this is part of a two part series. I was talking about freezing and flattening tracks now and in my next video I'm going to be talking about how to best manage your computer resources. It's a very kind of simple video telling you about your CPU and your RAM and how best to optimize audio performance without having incredibly expensive hardware. So thanks for watching. And I will see you just now in the next video.